Fez, you have gone through friends over the last several months. And I, I know this about you, too. Because I got an email. I'm not even going to get into it on the end. But... I got an email that said you deleted a happy birthday without you deleted on red from Mikey D. And that's just fucking look at me. What? Don't look away. I'm not fucking being serious. It's childish. And you know something? Life is too short. Life is too short. I figured it was gonna be something nasty Stop. again, like his voicemails. His voicemails were nasty? Totally nasty. Why do I talk to a person like that? I don't, Ronnie. I'm trying to move forward. How come you're the only one that has all these problems? You have problems with Wiki. You have problems with Mikey D. Uh, Earl, who else does he have problems with? I forget. There's somebody else big. Bruno Kirby. Oh, yeah. Bruno Kirby. Lene. It just goes on and on. He also had problems with Jay, but I think they kind of worked that out. Oh, what about Hosp? The ugliness that went on with you and Hosp the other day. Who had just brought us beautiful sandwiches? I know. People see me as a target. I don't know why. They come after me. And the other thing, and I'm not even going to get into it, but this, it's my birthday, give me expensive presents, ends this <laughs> year. Next year, and I'm not fucking kidding, all right? Next year, you can have a birthday, but you cannot get those kind of presents from uh, people. People gave me insanely nice presents. Yeah. It was a wonderful, wonderful birthday, and thank you, everybody. Well, don't th thank them specifically. What did you get? Well, I got a spa day, of course, from Anthony and Melinda. Um, I got beautiful gift certificates to a steakhouse from the uh, Pal Talk Girls. For how much money? $250 worth. Ow! Yeah, Seriously. Hit me with a thing of pens. Some of them stuck. That is fucking embarrassing. Dave, That's, come in here. It's a nice gift. It's a, it's too much. And I want and you know what? I know for a fact you didn't even take all your gifts home after you left. Bronx Johnny was going around trying to find them places. And you can't even sit here and remember. You've remembered two gifts and these people went out gigantic on him. Dave, I want you to take that gift certificate, give it back to the Pal Talk girls, okay. and say it's appreciated, but Fez would feel better if you girls went out and had your own lovely meal. Okay, no, we'll do. It's too we'll much. Do. And I'm not fucking kidding this time, Fez. It's too much. It's a lot. I understand that, but I think they're going to be more upset if I give it back. They want me to enjoy that. All right, r run off the rest of your gifts. Um, I got a bunch of Batman stuff. I don't want to hear a bunch of Batman stuff. I want to hear about each individual and what they gave you. Um, I know Foundry Music. Well, I was you drinking a lot. He you know. doesn't remember. And I was looking at these gifts. They were far too expensive. They were far too nice. I saw them laying on the floor at different <laughs> times of the night at Bar 9. And then I already left without them. I couldn't carry everything. You don't remember any of them. And these people went out of their way. It was like 15 hours of drinking. But you've been sober since. I assume these things came with cards? Yes, I'm sure they did. I just haven't gotten everything back home yet. Why was that? You didn't remember these lovely gifts. It was too Next much to year, carry. You know, you know what we're doing? Next year it'll be like it's Bono's birthday. Where if you want to do something nice for Fez, you do something nice for Africa. It makes people feel good to give me things. It really does. Foundry Music Jeff was sobbing a little bit when he gave you your gift. I would have thought you definitely would have remembered him. He's still crying from uh, Gail O. <laughs> Which, by the way, the fact that uh, Whackbag doesn't uh, believe that Gail o has died... To me, is perfect. It's just really a nice homage to her, because it almost makes her Jim Morrison. <laughs> I, I honestly, I kind of want to believe that maybe she's off writing poetry in Africa somewhere. Um, here's uh, Larry. Larry Armando Fez. Hey Ron, I think the best present uh, Fez got for his birthday was the two chores ashtray. I know, which I didn't even see him enjoying. And then over the weekend, I gave him a pair of pajamas so he can check in, and he won't have to be sitting there with his ass hanging out. Those are nice pajamas. I appreciate those, too. I didn't realize they were for checking into the nut hut. Let's remember what I said to you. Or do you not even remember my presents? I remember your presents. Well, tell me some more presents. Specific presents. I got a lovely um, jacket that um, 
just forget it. Just <laughs> seriously. He was making I it up. I am a completely embarrassed. And I thought to myself, is this fucking present whore at least going to come on the air today with a list? Nothing. I still have to go through. You know what everything. I feel like announcing? How much money you make? Don't do so that. So not only will these people glare at you, but so will the people who uh, gave you these presents. And I want, I want that gift certificate to go back. It's going back immediately. And what pal talkers? Who specifically? Um, let's see. A happy typing girl. Uh, Casey, Eastside Dave's girlfriend. How much did she throw in at that two fifty? <laughs> <laughs> she threw in some scratch. How much? <laughs> I, I know there was the, it was double digits. I know that. <laughs> Tenner. <laughs> hey, that's all I'm saying. She come up with a ten ski. <laughs> she threw in. Classy. Trace was I, part of that. Who? Tracy was part of that. <laughs> he said Trace. I know. <laughs> like he doesn't have a trace of what he's doing. <laughs> Despicable. It was very nice. I appreciate everything. There was about four other girls. Do you, yeah, who he's not even mentioning. Well, I'll have to go back and look at the car. I was caught at a weak moment. Yes, and now it's fucking three days later. Right. And when the Ron and Fez show dot net came in, you said, thanks, Ron Fez dot net. And then you didn't read their card off. Well, I was really at, I haven't been able to get there were so many wonderful gifts I haven't that gotten you left anything them on home. the floor you left them on the floor of the place as you staggered out of there staggerly I mean they were in beer yeah I know I saw that though well the, people were telling me they were going to take care of them yeah uh, Johnny and I we had to put everything together and I took everything back here because oh. he was I mean yeah Fez was uh, it was a little hazy People it was a hazy night. All right, let me ask you this. You're taking 250 off Happy Typing Girl, right? Right. What'd you give her for her birthday? Well, I didn't give her anything for her birthday. What would you like to give her? Well, I don't know. Why don't you give her 225 <laughs> Why don't you give her, seriously, why don't you go out and buy her a nice night out for dinner because you forgot her birthday? Because I don't, I don't think that's what she wants. I don't no, think she I, would I, want no. something like that. I want it from you. I want you to be a giver for a change, Mr. Centipede Liar. Remember when you lied about the centipedes? I recall I that. Centipedes? No, you didn't. Because we, we, <laughs> we had fucking proof from the person who you claim you got it for. John, you're on Fez. Hey, happy birthday, Fezzy. Thank you. Hey, uh, I want to know, did Gail die? Yes. When? It was last week. Ah, I can't believe it, man. Yeah, it's a sad story. That's too bad. All right, guys. Uh, Earl's got a 15-minute Sinatra song to play for you if you want. <laughs> I don't know where your head is anymore, Earl. No, I, I retooled it with a different song. Speaking of retooled, all right, we're out the other night for the big party, right? Earl sits himself in a corner like a grandma Never gets up once the whole entire night. Everybody said to me, where's Earl? Where? Oh, how come Earl didn't come? And I had to say, yeah, he is. He's just in the back having no fun. By the way, one of the best bar nine parties ever. Oh, my God. One of the, that was my favorite bar nine. It was a really great last- night. Five years. Yeah, it was a really, you know, sometimes a party can pick itself up and carry itself. Yes. And it was just one of those vibes. It was the right mix of, like, uh, people we know and then cool new people that we uh, did meet. That was the best part of it. It was was old school mixed with new school. Right. Your Foundry Music Jeffs and Angry Missies were still belligerently yelling at each other on the sidewalk. By the way, (laughs) I I, I swear to God... um, Crazy Jen, when she left the place, in tears because she had to leave. And what she gave you has me furious too, Fez, because you know she only makes eight bucks an hour. Right. And at some point, that's going to stop. Well, her, I got, I think, she hasn't given me anything yet. Yes, she did. It's on its way. No, she gave you that spa day that she told you about. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, it was a long day of drinking. It's been 48 hours Mm. since then. But that- Put something together in your head. So, where was I? Oh, so I just like, I'm telling uh, Pickles, yeah, uh, say, uh, you know, good luck, because she didn't want to leave. She waited till the last train. She literally thought she was in, you know, some magic gnat. This is unbelievable, <laughs> right? 
And just as she's leaving, she's in fucking tears, and I'm watching them disappear. Missy walks out and goes like this. We're not going to that WD-40 restaurant you told us about. What about this ninja place? <laughs> and I start to laugh. I go, oh, you were listening to the show. She goes, no, what show? There really is a fucking ninja place. <laughs> exactly. And we did a half an hour on it on Free FM. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, but uh, it was great. Yeah, because you had the old school, and then you had new people. Everyone, a lot of the ONA people were there. It was just so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. a lot of fun. So much fun. It was a blast. Uh, new discovery, uh, discovery of the night, Angel Fuck. Angel Fuck, the all-new discovery, I say. Really? Yeah. Uh, and I would have to say this, too. Overweight Jeff Bridges was a monster <laughs> fucking hit. Monster hit. You didn't think the um, Jersey Rich discovery was... Uh that, that was, was like, that one weirded me out completely because I've only seen Jersey Rich like once or twice since we've been back and it's always been like a big gig situation. So he's not with the old chick anymore. No, he's not. Wow. They, uh, <laughs> well, let's say they got married. Right. He's my buddy. I yeah. was there. You went to the wedding, right? I went there. Yeah, GVAC went there and uh, this it was so delightful. This is going to last forever yeah. is the way it seemed. And then a um, week later or so, the wife uh, part of the family decided to... A week after the wedding? A couple, yeah, weeks. Like, that soon. I mean, they, were, they had dated forever. Yes. I mean, long before we even knew them. Eight years. Like high school sweethearts or something crazy. Yes. It was the most fucking shocking thing I have were ever you at heard the wedding? in my life. Yes, I was there. So, you're at the wedding... And I remember, this is one of those weddings people talked about for like a year. Yeah. You're going to the wedding. Right. Uh, the wedding's going to be great. Uh huh. You got to come to the wedding. And he had always been with her. The wedding happens, and then what? And the wedding happens. Yeah. And they didn't take a honeymoon. Maybe a little bit of a mistake. Yeah. I don't know. And uh, a couple weeks, three weeks later, she starts dating another person. She. Hooking wow. up. That is insane. It was so fucking insane that, like, I almost didn't want to go out for... I mean, uh, me and GVAC were the only ones who knew about it, so we would talk to each other, and we couldn't actually um, have eloquent conversations about it. We would just look at each other and go, how fucking insane. Did you... Did how insane. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the eight years. A and then the chick, they, they get married, they did move in, and she's... Dang, another guy? A guy that she had known before? That part of it I'm not even clear know. on. But I mean, what the fuck? What the flying fuck is going on in Jersey over there? And I, I was actually depressed about it. Sure. Richard's a great fucking guy. And I mean, honestly, when I, when, when I think about it, I get a little sad. This is, this is marriage here. Now, though, he's with Daniela. Who is the fucking wife of the guy that she left with? Yeah. Now he's with, with Daniela. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that great? Who they, they swapped partners. They swapped partners. Her husband... Okay. If you can make sense of this. Her... His... Her... Jersey Rich's Helen hooked up, cheated on him, and then that person, his spouse... Went with Jersey Rich. They had a crisscross. Well, uh, why not? You got a lot in common. You like the same kind of people. It kind of makes a little bit of sense when you think about it. A crisscross, though, it, is, it makes That's no Yankees. sense. That's the Yankees. Who were the Yankees that did that years ago? They swapped families. Um, I was like Mike Kekich and... It's a famous Steve, baseball story. Uh, uh, I think it was Fritz Peterson and Mike Kekich. They swapped uh, families, couples. Good, Rich. <laughs> I'm happy for you. How? Because I tell you what, the new chick hotter than the old chick. But is it? But don't you think maybe would it be one just big ball of jealousy, maybe or that's what is the thing that pulls you together? Jealousy is a great uh, aphrodisiac. It, uh, it's a very big turn on. And the weird thing is, another thing I think about is, well, maybe it was destiny to get right. fucking married, right? Just to meet, meet that this other person. Chick? What are the odds of you, your wife, after two weeks? You've been with each other eight years. Two weeks of marriage. She cheats on you. Leaves you with a married man, with a married man, and then you grab that married man's wife, who's been fucking yours. Oh my God! It's like uh, it's like JFK. It's like an enigma in a riddle. I think it makes a little bit of sense. 
I've never heard anything more shocking. In, well, when you were opera. when you were young, though, didn't you and your friends always, you know, trade chicks back and forth? You I know, when when you when you hang out in that like little gang, you know what I mean? Like, and why wouldn't you? Everybody's got a lot in common. We tried, we tried that. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think that Richard really knew the man that well. You know. Huh. So like the whole thing is just it's the well, weird story. I think it's all the better for him. I think he traded up. I'm going to give him two thumbs up. She's beautiful, this Danielle. Yeah. But it's just, it's rocking to the core. Good. You get rid of the old and with the new. Oh, man. I guess so. I mean, I, that makes me doubt the whole marriage, though, I tell you. Oh, the whole th institution it marriage? Has to. It is a fucking fake illusion. That's why I laugh at the fact that people acting like, well, gay people would ruin marriage. But marriage, more than half the people get fucking divorced. That's why I don't want to go to anybody's wedding. I don't want to sit there and be a part of the whole bullshit. Look at you, two weeks later. Did you get your present back? Nope. See, I'd be going nuts right now. And I, I would it. say she owed it to me, not Rich. Because, <laughs> you know, no fucking guy wants a wedding. Right. So it's her fault, obviously. And you know what, Mr. B? That was the nicest turkey baster you've ever seen. Is that what you gave him? Yeah. A beautiful, I mean, like a beautiful big turkey baster with a, you know, it has a spin wheel and everything. Good, because yeah, there's so many ugly turkey basters out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's uh, Brian. Brian, you're on the first. Hey, how's it yeah. going today? Uh, I got a buddy come home, uh, found his wife screwing another guy, got pissed off, went over to his house, screwed his wife, come back home, screwed his own wife, and nine months later, he's in the hospital, both of them, pregnant. Got them both knocked up that night. Jeez. Well, he thinks he does. He doesn't know. He might. Maybe he didn't get either one of them knocked up. <laughs> Uh, here's, uh, Joe. Joe, you're on Fez. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my younger brother, he had, uh, uh, he never cheated on his wife for four or five years, uh, met up with this girl and started banging her. I brought him, uh, got her a little hotel and stuff, and he, we were going to have a party and stuff. He introduced me to her, and I've known her from, like, when we were kids or something. Like, oh, yeah, so we hit it off. He passed out. I ended up fucking her that night and uh well we've been married for 11 years your and, brother's uh, chick yeah my brother's uh the chick that he was he was banging on the side uh, you were the uh, little brother right uh, -huh. uh were you I, always no, in I, love I, with your brother's chicks when you were growing up yes i uh my brother's like six seven years uh older than me pussy well, man i used to have the biggest brother. crushes on his girlfriends I mean, as, as far back as I can remember. Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. They're movie stars at that point. Yeah. And again, you think to yourself, well, it does make, you, you know, you got a lot in right, common. Uh, it makes uh, a lot of sense there. Uh, here's uh, Matt. Matt, you're on running Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, it's almost like, uh, you know, that couple hooking up. It's almost like the 9-11 firefighters and, uh, and the 9-11 wives. You know, it's that common source of, uh, of uh, pain, you know, that brings them together. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's just, uh, it doesn't even have to be pain. It could be anything. Look how many, uh, rock stars have, uh, traded wives over the years. How many actors and actresses have traded? It's common interest. Yeah, but it seems like with regular folks, it doesn't seem, it seems highly improbable to me. I mean, everybody's a human. Don't act like, uh, just because someone, someone has to be Rod Stewart, he's not like a normal person. Well, I agree with that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, while I'm happy for Richard, I just can't understand how it could happen. How could they could s seek each other out? Well, Plus, what about this? You know, they probably sat down. Hey, did you know about this? No. Did you know about this? Hey, you know, we ought to talk about it later. Later, you're sitting back. You're having a little bit of wine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, hey, you know what would be funny? We get even with them. Yeah. Bang, bang, boom. <laughs> there was even that movie, remember? It was like a movie where they were stalking after. Oh, yeah. It was Ferris Bueller and uh, Sleepless in Seattle. The Meg two Ryan. people. Was it Meg Ryan? Yeah. Aaron Ferris Bueller. He was playing the part. This was. Oh. This is why he's a great actor. He was playing the part of a straight man. <laughs> they're fucking, they're in New York. They're watching the other couple, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, wait a minute. We don't want them back. We like each other. 
I like you, Rich. I like you, new girl, better than the old girl. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what's happening. Hey, I'm glad he's doing it. Teach that guy a lesson for for stealing his wife. Well, instead family. of instead of being negative, why not be positive? Everybody's got what they want now. Everybody's with who what they want. It just seems weird, though. I mean, they're they're married. Should, uh, you know. So what? Don't mean anything to anybody. I'm telling you right now. What is it like? Sixty percent of the marriages fail. Yeah, yeah, way over half now. He should have never gotten married to that Helen. Let me tell you something. Well, you can say that about anybody. No one should have married anyone. Well, I mean, some people's marriages still. Paul Newman's still. His marriage is still surviving. We'll see. <laughs> I'm really seriously, because I've seen them two fight plenty of times. Uh, Craig, Craig, you're on Fez. Hey, what's going on? Um, me and my brother have actually shared five different girls inadvertently without knowing it. Craig. And one of the girls I brought home when I was drunk one night, I banged, yeah. and the next morning she met his roommate, and now they're engaged. Craig. Yeah. What you want to do is suck your own brother's dick, and you make me sick with it. You're filthy. That's the stalking. He's following his brother around. Uh, hey, Cooter. Cooter, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, this is uh, Cooter from Crankcase. Hey, buddy, what's happening? How much? Please sing. Uh, just uh, want to talk about this whole uh, Rich and uh, Danielle thing. Um, I found out about it from GVAC, and I, my mouth dropped to the floor. I was, I was at the wedding with uh, Dave as well, and it was a great time. Uh, Helen and Rich just seemed like they were going to be together forever, ever, but uh, now like he definitely traded up. Danielle's a great girl. Oh, man, um, she's hot, too. Yeah, she absolutely. really is. She, a little sexy librarian. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she was doing that. She was sporting the sweet Melissa look with the uh, straight hair and the glasses. Yeah. I'm like, what's he? Um, he's got like a Melissa substitute going. Yeah. There. Um, yeah good yeah. move on his part. And Helen awesome. just they, reminded me of the ET. Didn't she? <laughs> no. She reminded me of ET. <laughs> no, no, that's someone else. <laughs> oh, uh, that's your chick. <laughs> Not Jane Curtin, but the, the other one in Kate and Alley. The oh, not hot St. James? Oh, Susan St. James, yeah. Please. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking p post her prime, Susan St. James. Oh, okay. Not, no. Yeah, not, not McMillan. No. Just the non hot Susan St. James. Mm. Yeah, one of the weird things. The one weird who's things. recently lost her son. You want to call her ugly to the world. I didn't realize that. Well, you know what you need to do is really start and get to read the memos. Okay. I send out memos all the time. I will. Uh, well, Cooter, that was a good move on his part. Yeah, definitely. And two weeks later, he had this chick, too? He was in the new it was, scene? It was, uh, it's like, I think it was after the honeymoon, they went down to the shore uh, with some of their friends, and one of their friends was this guy. And they, uh, Rich went up, uh, went home a little early to go to work. She stuck around, and that's how it all happened. Mm. Like, all mm. of a sudden, just banging. Mm. And, like, they were, what does they that were, mean? They were still living together. Just the typical thing to do. Yeah, don't have a, attention and affection on you for three minutes. Yeah. And boom, you're good going down the Bahamas. Good, she's gone. Good, good. luck, uh, the fucking bad garbage. That's what I say. Good riddance. Good riddance. That's what I meant. Not good luck. Why would you <laughs> listen? Not good luck to your garbage. But what about this? This is like a little something for you. You got to watch Casey constantly, which you did the other night. I tried to. You were on a... I didn't think you were drunk the other night. Well, I... That was the fucking soberest I've ever hung out with you. I, I mean, I drank, but you're right. I didn't, uh, like, really get... You know, I had all... You were almost the Earl. Almost sitting by the thing. <laughs> I remember who Earl was sitting next to all night. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I don't want to say. So, when Opie comes in, when you weren't pulling Opie and his girlfriend... Down. Look who's here! <laughs> Look who's here! You know what they both said to me? What? Uh, what well, Opie's chick says to me, this is so much fun. I loved Hammered Fez. He has never said two words to me since I've known him. <laughs> now he's acting like birthday boy and yelling and pulling me really hard. Yelling, oh. Look who's here. Sorry. So Opie goes, uh, Who's Earl sitting with? And I go, uh, Oh, he's with his mom. Because he was being such a wallflower, right? <laughs> so Ope's like, oh, Earl's barely black. So I go, yeah, but you should see his dad. His dad's extra black. <laughs> so then Ope goes over to them. Yeah, and he walks over and he goes, "You got a fine son here, man. You got a really. It's really nice to meet you. I mean, he was so cool." And she's just looking at him like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and then, so about 
an hour, hour and a half later, I just hear this. Fuck you! <laughs> He's pointing at me from the other side of the room. <laughs> You're radio enemy number one, pal! You're radio enemy number one! He's fucking completely freaking out. I had forgotten my wonderful little prank from an hour and a half before. <laughs> I go, damn, that Opie gets crazy when he's drinking. <laughs> Who went and told him, you? No, I didn't say anything. I think she said, she's like, she just like, I'm not Earl's mother. Oh, but I think I have to tell somebody. Yeah. Now, now I feel like the so insults on her, which I never meant. And he was so embarrassed. And the rest of the night, he's like, I can't fucking believe he got me on that one. That was, I mean, he was just so mad. Of course, mad. why would anyone make up a lie? It's just stupid to go around lying. That's what's wrong with me. Here's what's wrong with me. Uh, I make up too many lies. And Fez, you're giving those presents back. Why do I have to give the presents back? Why People are we going over and over the same thing? But I want you to at least show me that you're paying attention. We're, t we're giving them back because... You're taking presents from people who you make a lot more money than. They're putting a lot of thought, a lot of care into these presents. And then you chuck them away. I saw that quilt uh, rubbed up in a ball and uh, stuck under the couch. Yeah. A beautiful quilt that the Ron and Fez uh, show dot net people gave him. It was in a ball, shoved under the couch. And I'm like, the Bronx Johnny, Johnny, get a hold of that. With Please. a lot of liquids on it. With oh. a lot of beer stains and other type of liquids. Cat piss. There's cat piss all in it. Well, that's always a possibility. Yeah. Cat urine exists there. It doesn't mean it's not a great right, place. I'll tell you uh, who the new other person, too, this is the find of the night for me. Got into an hour discussion about everything. Art, film, blah, blah, blah. My caca. My caca who... <laughs> We really should go back to his other wow. name. You gave him the Mike Kaka name. Yes, and his name was Bigfoot. Yeah. But I I'm put that in parentheses, <laughs> and Ron mistook the left parenthesis for a C. Because you do not have parentheses with AKA. I thought you did. Well, you're, you don't. You're already using punctuation, basically, by using the AKA. Yeah. Well, someone should clarify that, but nevertheless... Okay, his name was Bigfoot. If he has to go back, I've heard he somewhat likes Mike Kaka. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> he looks more like a Mike Kaka than a Bigfoot. This, I thought he looked like Hawk. Oh, yeah. That was my initial thing of, oh, Hawk's here. So then I get into this real long conversation, and I'm like, this is how I wish my friends were, able to discuss things. At length. And as I, you know, I looked over, there's Fez licking a lollipop, <laughs> Earl's sitting in the corner, and uh, Dave went around a construction site to make out with Casey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> you weren't going to bring that up. <laughs> they went on the other side of a construction site wall. You were not going to bring that up. So on the I'm, radio. you know what I mean? I. Right. Need some mature guy no, friends. He's very cool, very suave, and certainly. More mature than the rest of us. I think he meets your intellect you, level. Uh, I'm going to give credit to you're at least a teenager. You're at least my teenager friend. <laughs> my caca. Or, Earl's the child who has to sit on the bench next to mom and lie to Opie. Fez is like the eight-year-old who can't be really satisfied with his birthday presents <laughs> and keeps tearing open the next one. You know, Mike Kaka and, you know, HTG, that's HTG's partner, not uh, relationship-wise, just work-wise. Yeah. And I always think they look exactly the same and stuff sometimes. And the other day they had on um, little uh, hats with black dogs on them, matching black dogs. And I thought have you cool. seen Mike Kaka's work? Do you, have you, is, is, yeah, it I heard, is it good? Yeah, he's phenomenal. He's an incredible photographer. Now I need to look at the stuff. Because, you know, up to this point, my photographer friend has been this fucking idiot Earl who oh. keeps taking pictures yeah. of either Lily or the same rock in Central Park. <laughs> he loves that, <laughs> that you never show anyone, Earl. Your I've, fucking photography is garbage. What? I've sent you stuff. Yeah. He loves vegetation, does Earl. Mm. Any type of tree. He took a picture of a salad bar. The other day, and he says, "You think I could sell this? No, it's landscapes. It's the city. It's various things. I haven't worked my way to people yet. You can yet. buy that on any, you know, in I Fifth know. Avenue in Central Park. That's all people want. Postcards. What about the uh, yeah. pedophile pictures you took of Lily? I mean, that was me testing out. That was me testing out the new digital, and, I, and she was there. And I said, you, you know what? She, she told me that you said, look at the birdie,' and you were swinging your dick back. Oh, <laughs> no. I would never pull out my stuff. Why? Gay? I'm not gay. Well, not in public, I wouldn't. 
You would never bat. You've never fucked outside. No, I never have. What did you do when you were in ninth grade? You already had a fucking hotel. <laughs> when you were in ninth grade, you fuck in the bushes like a dog. Everyone does. No, I mean, well, it was Queens. We didn't have a lot of bushes. We had to improvise a little bit. There's parks in Queens. I fucked standing up against a wall in a laundromat. <laughs> Sick fucking kids, <laughs> filthy. There's nothing. There's no difference between a dog and a, and a fucking kid. There's no difference at all. They both should be spaded. Uh, hey Gary, Gary, you're on Fez. Hey, how's it going, buddy? It's BAC yeah. 1068. All right, brother. Hoo-ha! Hey, it looks like I'm the only one that cares. But Ron, I need to know: Did you get any sleep over the weekend? You know, I did until last night, and then I got some this morning, but uh, I watched the sun come up last night, so I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. So the cycle starts again. I, why say it's a cycle? Why do that to me? Because it happened last weekend. But No, it didn't. It's happened last week during the week. Here's what I need to do, though. I need to stop thinking about you with those presents. Get the presents back to the people they rightfully belong to. And then I think I'll be able to sleep properly. I think that's going to hurt people's feelings. If I said, here, you know, you really shouldn't have, and then handed everything back. Right now, you've only remembered who, two people who gave you presents. HTG, and you know none of her sidekicks, uh, which I saw you grabbing at, Trace, <laughs> hoping that we would finish it for you. And then the uh, the other was Anthony. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, those are the ones that come to mind. There's still a very big blur from this weekend. You've been sober now for 48 hours, right? Right. Put it together. Go back. Look at the cards. Remember what people did for you. Remember that you took a, something for a person who makes $8 an hour. It's basically like she gave you her week's pay and all because she's trying to be like Anthony. I know. She shouldn't have done that. You didn't say that at the time. And you didn't even remember. And I saw her um the the homemade thank you card or the the homemade birthday card that HTG made for Fez. Mm -hmm. I saw that in the urinal. In the bathroom. The fuck for Fez, are you pissing on it? I'm not saying Fez did it. I'm not saying what happened, but... I mean, I did piss on it because it was already in there. I didn't know what it was. Well, you can't reach in and get anything out of there once it's in. I thought it was a puck. No, it wasn't. I looked Why at it Why don't we do this? Hard. Where's that 250 to? What restaurant? Um, uh, Look how he doesn't remember a damn thing. I'm going to hand that to the first homeless person we see outside. <laughs> no! Well, Earl, you take your mom out. She was nice <laughs> enough to come to Bar 9 with you. But let me point this out about you, Earl. And this is why you are not and never will be a producer. All night long, I see Pitsy and Johnny. Fez, you okay? Ronnie B, you need anything? Oh, Ronnie, here's somebody that wants to meet you. They're a big fan of the show, but they've been, you know, in the back a little shy. Here's a guy that uh, told me that his favorite bit is, you know, and they're just telling me people's names and introducing me. Work in the crowd. And not only work in the crowd, finding out, make sure Fez, hey, Fez, get down off that chair. Uh, here, I got you a drink. Earl, I don't talk to all night. He does not think he's on the job. When he's at a gig, oh, the you don't view yourself that way. No, I mean, I mean, and I was talking with people. I had talked with Mike, uh, Mike Kaka. I talked. You talk to whoever goes over to you, like a grandmother at a Christian christening. I'm. Were you a host of the party? Well, I I didn't see myself as a host. That's why not. It's Fez's birthday, right? Yes. You're Fez's right hand man. Yes. Why would you not see yourself as somebody who needed to make sure the people were okay and that Fez was okay? Well, with Fez, Fez was having, I, every time I saw Fez, he was having a great time. He was holding court. I didn't want to be like the buzzkill of it all. And just why, would you be, why would you be a buzzkill? It was your fucking thing. And the, the whole situation, the only time I was, that one situation where I was sitting was when, I think that's when Dave and uh, Casey snuck out to go make out, because he was like, hey, look how he tries to point it back no, to I mean, Dave. And he took your Mike Kaka. If Ron's talking to Mike Kaka for two hours, <laughs> then how did Earl yeah. talk to him? No, no, what no, did I you was, talk to him about, was, Earl? Was Earl wearing a disguise? All right, Earl, he likes what kind of movies? 
I, we went, we didn't even talk film. We talked pre nineteen sixty five. Whoever <laughs> says that? Whoever says I only like movies before nineteen sixty five? I found it to be fascinating. Only Kaka does. Yes, and yet Earl's like, oh, let me try to steal that. Well, you know what, Earl? You go find out. All right, what uh, famous photographer did he work for before? Why we didn't? You live a lie. I'm not. You're a liar, and you didn't see. Uh, Casey and Dave, because that took place then only the smokers saw it. No, but he... That was me, Dave, Dave, did the bug-eyed guy, <laughs> and uh, Ron was the one I made him tell stories yeah, to. Ron <laughs> caught me. No, Dave. Not you. But Dave. You think you're Dave. Ron. You're no, having Dave. a meltdown. No, no, I'm not having... No, Dave, you walked up to me and you said, D you you were sitting with Casey and you went, hey, can you hold our seats? We're going out to smoke. What has that got to do with the fact you didn't keep an eye on drunk Fez all night? His presents were all over the fucking place. Uh, he's pissing on fucking cards, making a goddamn uh, maniac out of himself. I feel bad about that now. He's pulling Lindsay around. I think he dislocated her her elbow. You acting like a maniac, and you're not you're not meeting listeners. You're meeting people who come up to you. Like I remember, my great grandmother would always have everyone would come by every once in a while to whatever bench she was on, and that was her way of seeing people. Right. You know, for five minutes at a time. Yeah. Why aren't you out moving around? Talking, and, and I was doing all of that. At various That's stages. a lie. All of and, us were there, and no, it's a lie. Why no, all night long? You know who I talk to more than anybody? Who? Pitsy and Bronx Johnny. But that, <coughs> because they hosted the event. Earl, I know for the longest time people were still coming up to me, going, "Where's Earl?" Because you hadn't even you took so long to get there after it started. Yeah, that is weird. Pre-1965 films, Earl. That's why I know that you're lying. <laughs> you're talking your Maltese Falcons. Jeez, a John Huston's fan. You but know. who's his favorite director, Earl? We didn't, but we didn't talk directors. We were talking about, we were talking about the show. We were talking about other things. We weren't specifically You had camera films. on your neck. Yeah. You no, wouldn't have talked no. about photography. I, no, I didn't have camera on your neck. You are lying. I had camera Just in my, so I you know, Earl, John Ford. <laughs> John Ford. To find that's picture. why I know you're the world's biggest liar. And beyond all that, did you meet any new people? Did you bring any new people that were shy into the fold? Have them meet everybody? I mean, I I met a lot of new people. I met I don't even rem I don't remember specific names. Why not? You're a producer. You should be remembering everybody's name. No, and I try to. I'm awful at remembering names. But I, that, then you're not a producer. That was the early part of this discussion. You're not a a people person. No, and I understand that, but I'm I'm working on. It. I was a lot more so. And what I'll about admit. Pixie, the only black girl? What do you do right away? You bring up her skin color. No, why would you? <laughs> no, girl. she was the only one that was bringing up skin color. She was like, like, yo, you do have another black listener of the show, and I'm like, and I, I was like, why do you have to bring that up at all? I just oh, don't. so you snapped that? I didn't snap <laughs> at her. This is so uncomfortable. You really you play you really the were, ladies. You really oh. were seriously. No, she, she was, was very cool. You were at an A party and give yourself an F. <laughs> and it was a fucking great party, Earl. <laughs> you and your mom sat there all night, seeming like you didn't even want to be there. I told How you do you look at Pitsy? Seriously. And say that you're his boss. Did you notice any of the stuff that he did? Yeah, did I, you think to yourself, Pitsy's on the ball? Oh, of course I did. I, I, mean, cause, I mean, Pitsy's very sociable. He's like, he Wait, Did you notice he was doing the exact opposite of you? I mean, but he has a more outgoing personality than I am. A little bit more. I'm, so he I, should be the producer, and you should. No, I I didn't say that at all. I'm just the I'm. But I'm that's, shy. I'm a little bit withdrawn. I'm trying to bring that. I'm trying to get rid of that and bring that out. Right. But I mean, he just has that personality. He's he's more social. He goes out and hangs out. To, you know. He's so then he should be the producer. N no, not at all. That's I mean, the producer's thing. I mean, the again, events, everything. With the events, and again, that's something I I made an effort. I made I don't know if it was the greatest effort, but I made a better effort at trying to be more outgoing at this one than I was. You showed up later one. than Axl Rose. What time did you get there? Earl? I got there. I think I had nine. Nine, my ass. Nine, yeah. nine and you know that know Earl shit. type of math. Nine nine thirty. If, I don't. I don't remember. Oh my! If he's admitting that he was an hour and a half late, yeah, then he you're you're, you're talking ten fifteen. You know, HTG even brought this up that he had so much black on him, he was attempting to become a shadow. He was attempting to become uh, invisible. You need to neon it up a little bit, Earl. You need to say, "I'm Earl Douglas, producer of this show, and I'm not here to embarrass black girls and bring up color 
and I'm not here to hide next to my mom and steal Ron's my caca story. I didn't steal my caca story. <laughs> he walked up to me and goes, hi, I'm Bubba Bob. Uh, you might know me as Mike Caca. And I'm like, I he said I'm Bubba Bob. Ba. So you don't even remember I that part. I don't remember. Again, I'm, and uh, that's a flaw with me. So I'm your point is this. He even had to introduce himself to you. You don't go around trying to meet people. At a Ron and Fez after party. Oh, and I said to him, hey, how you doing? I, I mean, I was sociable. I was like, hey, how you doing? He's like, hey, you might know me as, you know, as Mike Kaka. Billy, you're a Ron and Fez. Hey, uh, if it wasn't for all the great guests that Earl books on the show, I'd have to wonder what the fuck he does. Well, he doesn't book those guests and admit that now, Earl. You never have booked one. Yeah, we're... I have... uh, one of the things for you now, the fashion statement is going out, is what about a bright ribbon since you don't want to change... Your clothes. You wear the same clothes. What if you get either a bright yellow or pink ribbon and wear it around your neck? I'm not going to wear pink because that's very feminine, and I'm not going to be like an oak tree and have a ribbon tied around me. I mean, I just like my clothes. You I pick like... the cause, and then that can be your ribbon that you wear. Yeah, it's I'm... a silly look when you think about it. I mean, all black. Every day for 17 yeah, years. Yeah, this is coming in from a guy who has torn shirts and pit stains on all, every one of his shirts. But at least I got color in my life, Daddy. Yeah, to show off the pit stains. Because what is the problem with that? You know why he's got pit stains? From shaking hands all night or all. I'm working. <laughs> people. You know, one thing that I was upset about, Eddie the Pointer it has to come yeah. outside to me and say, what's wrong with Earl, man? Right. Did he, he really? Goes, Eddie he goes, the Pointer who, I mean, uh, believe me, couldn't be a nicer guy. You, he can't. But Matter possibly fact, he's nice. invited me to vacation with him in Far Rockaway. Oh, you got that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Him, I'm going to probably spend a couple of days with him, and then I'm going to mooch his sister's house <laughs> on the Irish Sea. <laughs> Just a total right. class act. All right, Earl. Remember your other thing about saving seats, right? Yes. Well, you were saving seats for them. Casey claims. That you gave up the seats within five seconds of them giving it up. You totally gave it around. No, that's not true either. I mean, they were gone for a while. They never, one of the reasons why I was there was they never came back. No, we were back yeah. in within four minutes. And by the time. For a quick smoke when I asked you. And by the time they came back, um, Opie and his chick had shown up, and Opie's like, hey, mind if I sit here? I was like, sure, why not? There was different seats. <laughs> one was a couch. One was to, one was oh, folding oh, chairs. And there's your totally like, no, fucking insane. insane. No, Everything you said is a lie. That is, not, crazy. that is not crazy because I was sitting, because I was watching Casey's bag. Put a ribbon on, bag. I can't see you. I Put was watching Casey's bag, because she was really she was like, make sure you watch that bag. All right, Whatever E-Rock has brought you something brightly colored that you will now have around your neck. I'm not wearing a red lay. Take the headphones. What's your lay on? Oh, Aloha. All right, now you look friendlier. Now you look <laughs> like a silly producer and your big It's a big happy party now. He looks like Black Earl the Body Ventura. He, he acts like he's allergic to a fucking plastic <laughs> fucking leg. Oh, it just has this weird odor to it. Oh, everything's weird. You know what? It, you know what it smells like non-black. Every piece of his clothing is black. That looks good, Earl. You have to he has to get more life experiences. <laughs> you know what he needs to go with that is a grass skirt. Everything is so weird, so right. upsetting, so, oh, it's just weird, it's just strange to oh, me. Oh, yes. Everything's <laughs> terrible. It's like, this is lobster, Earl. Oh, it's just so weird, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look at hash browns and potatoes and pasta. Oh, can I have some uh, <laughs> mashed potatoes, french fries, and a baked potato? <laughs> you sure love your starches, mister. <laughs> He's starchy bunker. And could you spray paint? Yes. Get, look, e -Rock's bringing you such lovely things. This is a nice... Beautiful, bright jacket. Oh, God, it is the most offensive jacket. What is it, African? Why would that be offensive to you? <laughs> Why are you ashamed to be an African? Put on your beautiful... I don't even know I am African. Huh? What, what else would you be? Uh, uh, I know. What, what else would you be? Scottish? <laughs> you never know. I know. What? Put it on. Put on your beautiful, colorful jacket. There you go. That's your Technicolor yeah. dream coat, baby. <laughs> and I bet it's going to end up looking good. This is the first time I've ever seen her own color. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen him wear anything but black. I wore color yesterday. Every every well, first well, I'm Sunday. Sorry, I'm sorry, I don't go color. to church with you. Every first Sunday I wear color. He <laughs> just make things up. Oh, look at that. Earl, you are a handsome, colorful man. All right? That's you now. This jacket feels silly. He does look, you look really good in that, like a black Don Johnson. 
But I mean, like a good thing, man. I'm not kidding. He instantly looks younger wearing color. It, it's so and much And now, better. stop giving up seats. You went and gave up Dave's seat. And oh, stop eating some potatoes. Piece. This is going to be a whole new thing for you. You're going to be a new person. You're going to be trust trustworthy. You're going to try different foods. You're going to wear some colors. Maybe have a sip of booze. Have a drink. Just a have sip. a cocktail. Mingle. No, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I don't work on the mingling. It's like I just choose not to drink because that's a choice that I made. It's a conscious decision that I made. Ah, you have a, yeah, you need to, you need to do everything the opposite of what you've done. Why are you taking off your colorful jacket? Why would you tight. act like it's acid on your skin? No, it's, it's just a little tight. That's all. It's not too tight. You weigh one hundred twenty pounds. Nothing's too tight on you. <laughs> Nothing is too tight on you right now. Uh, here's, uh, I can't read it. You're on Ron Fesha. Who's this? Joaquin. Hey, Joaquin. What's happening, buddy? No, I was thinking if y'all were doing any hiring for a producer. Um, well, you know, I don't know what's going on with Wiki and Pitsy, but it's time that that got going. Poor Pitsy sitting there wearing his stupid Mets fucking shirt. He, uh, his little Mets hat. <laughs> All he wants is a big year for his team. Is that too much? Hey, it looked solid as hell last night, I tell you. Yeah. Six one. Let's see what happens over the next one sixty one. <laughs> Send me some odds over here, or I yelled at you so much I'm fucking. You, you're getting me fucking odds today. Uh, all we're saying this is for is for your own good. Oh, uh, there's Lily too. Was she drunk off her ass the other night? Extremely drunk, and so was her sister. And I heard that her sister's boyfriend hit on Bronx Johnny. So oh, this, is, shit. this is yet another hurt. Right, game. Come on in here, Lily. No First way. First of all, Bronx Johnny's not all that good looking that every time we have a party, some guy hits <laughs> on him. All right, Lily, come on in. I Have you sobered up? I wasn't drunk. Yeah. I was worried about you leaving, as a matter of fact. No, I was good. I was good. I got home very fine. Do you remember when you were uh, making out with uh, Big A? You and Big A were in the corner making. I remember out. everything, and that did not happen. I just yeah. want to specify. All right, your uh, sister, by the way, very pretty. Mm -hmm. It looks like you. Okay. I yeah. I called it the Lily face stamp. <laughs> she came there. That's the one that liked uh, Fez, and did Fez? Did you like her back? Yeah, I mean, I thought she was nice. You remember what she gave you? No, I yeah. I don't. Isn't it great to be you? <laughs> She's gonna All be right. so upset. You really are. It's time for you to take a look at yourself. And this is probably why you're going to the nut hut. You don't understand how to act like a human. Matter of fact, did you bring your pajamas with you? No, I didn't bring I've, them with me. That's why I gave them to you. In case your baker acted <laughs> at any moment, I want you to have those pajamas ready to go. All right, you were brought. Now, your sister came with a guy, right? Yeah, her. Was that her boyfriend? Her, yeah, her boyfriend. Now, I heard what he said to Bronx Johnny from. I believe, oh, Fred from Brooklyn? Who was with you? Fred from it Brooklyn? Was Fred from Brooklyn and a Pepper. Oh, yeah, I heard it from Pepper. Which, by the way, the three of you were wrapped around a joint all night. <laughs> and, like, seriously, <laughs> doing bad Cheech and Chong. You can't smoke pot because you're too much like Cheech. Uh, you, may, you turn yourself into a stereo, a stereotype. Uh, what exactly did her boyfriend say to you? It was weird because I'm at the bar during my drink and a the dude, there's a pole in between me and the dude. Yeah. He ropes around the pole like he's a body. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, he's like, yo, hey, what's up? So you at the show? I was like, semi, yeah, you know. He was like, yo, you get a lot of girls? I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, I'm on Mania. I don't know what. I'm on Mania. And Lil's right behind him. So I'm like, oh. I'm what? Armenian. Oh, Armenian. No, he's Albanian, too. Albanian. Yeah. Albanian. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I'm like, yo, so is Lil. Talk to Lil. She's right there. He's like, oh, I'll go out with her sister. I'm like, you go out with her sister? What? Yeah. So uh, that all had you shocked. Because uh, he had on, like, some pink stuff, too, which was a little weird. Right. A little out there. So, like, I'm later on, the style canceled. like, <laughs> the dude kept looking for me most of the night, so Pepper's laughing. He's like, yo, I think the dude's hitting on you, bro. Yeah. I'm like, nah, nah. So, like, at the last point's end, like, he has a cup in his hand. And he takes his finger and does like a circular, like clockwise motion. Yeah. So he's like, yo, so how many, you got girls? You must have a lot of girls. I'm like, yeah, I got like two girls, bro. I'm getting <laughs> nervous. Sure. So he's there just spinning his finger, looking at me. He's like, yeah, yo, if it never works out, give me a call. I'll hook you up with some other girls. I'm like, oh, all right then. Me and Pepper just laughing like, I can't All right, so that's not what happened. Because yeah. that Pepper says to me that he said to Johnny, 
I will suck your Dominican cock. <laughs> oh, man, no, he didn't. I swear to God, with Pepper told <laughs> I heard too. I know. Pepper and that's verbatim, that. and I wish I wasn't making it up. <laughs> so none of this happened, right? No. Lily, the guy's um, not gay, and he's not hitting on him. Well, I think he is, so There's I wouldn't be surprised. There's something this guy, <laughs> he lies. I, you know what? Pepper, thanks for all the fucking <laughs> illegal stuff. <laughs> and it's, by the way, quality's getting worse and worse. <laughs> so I'm not even that interested anymore. Until we get back to screeners. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, sometimes I think you just think that you're more attractive than you are. Nah, I don't play that game. Bro, you look like Pancho Villa. Out of everybody, <laughs> why are they going to try to pick you up? I have no idea. And why did you take him running his finger around his cup as a tur as that's, him trying to hit on you? Like, I'm asshole. saying, like, yeah, who <laughs> talk, I'm saying, who talks to what a guy like that, wants, though? I don't, you ever spin your finger in a cup and talk to a guy? Like, I like to put sweat. my fingers in my drink. Exactly. I never heard that, and then him and Pepper came running up to me like, yo, your sister's boyfriend just hit on Johnny, and then they're like, you know, he ran his finger around the cup, the, the top of the glass, and I was like, I've never heard that before. I never Why knew that Pepper was like a... Why would Pepper say the, I will suck you? I will not say that. <laughs> fucking so high. <laughs> Who had the weed? Huh? Who had the weed? I don't remember, for real. One of you did. You know. I one. didn't have it. Yeah. We got it from somewhere. I really don't remember. I'm not a cop. What am I, a wire? <laughs> what are you saying? It's fucking me and you. <laughs> I know who Because they're all fucking Chinese guys, <laughs> all three of them. Good time, though. <laughs> sure. Good time. You like anything where there's a chance you're getting your cock sucked. <laughs> uh, hey, here's our buddy Fred from Brooklyn. Hey, I, I will cop to it. I didn't only bring weed, I brought super weed. Church. My problem. <laughs> Church. Oh, now why? Now why are you suddenly well, like, I'm, I'm not going to snitch. To who, me? Hey, well, I'm saying, I'm what am I? Yeah. Not not saying that Johnny got a bad case of uh, paranoia or anything there, Ronnie, but I got to tell you, right after we came out of the car, I mean, we just fucking bombed out the car. It was a Cheech and Chong moment. Yeah. Um, that's what it happened, like five minutes after that. So I, I don't know if it was the paranoia setting in, but I brought crazy shit with me. Yeah, crazy. I saw it creep up on him, too. <laughs> I saw it creep up on Johnny, and he just got fucking weird. <laughs> oh, by the way, Fez. Yeah, did buddy. Like did you like my gift? Yeah, I'm sure I did, Fred. No, I didn't get your shit. I knew you'd forget about See, it. See, that's good. I'm glad, Fred. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That's why you're Thank fucking you. super caller number one. You shouldn't have to trick <laughs> somebody you. like that. Yeah. No, you shouldn't have to. This is part of your disconnect from reality, Fez. This is why you're in the position you are. You've got to realize a person like you doesn't need to be taking a week's pay from fucking crazy Jen. It's not right. But what do I do now? Give it back? Yes. You're giving everything back. People well, won't accept these things back. Let's just walk out and give it to the, the homeless. <laughs> we'll give them a, a, the steakhouse that you don't even remember where you got the 250 from. From uh, HTJ, as you put it, and friends. Uh, Casey? Uh, Trace? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yeah, but I think they would feel really bad if I gave all this stuff away, too. Why that would they? Because they you wanted me to have it. No, you're worried about that. You left it under the fucking table. That beautiful quilt was stuffed under a table. Liquid soaked. Soaked like it had been raped. Hey, you know who's a big fan of lilies? My caca. Mm -hmm. Mike said that he and all the uh, all of his assistants, big lily fans. Wow. Watching their uh, growth. He might want to take pictures of you. You don't know. Oh, is he a photographer too? Yeah. Uh oh, Earl. like two. Wait a minute, that's a <laughs> that's a fucking joke to say two <laughs> okay. and include him with with Earl. Earl's photography has gone nowhere. One time he got uh, a fucking picture of uh, Living Color standing next to Muni in R and R, <laughs> and he considers that something good. And then then uh, Friday morning quarterback. This man's worked <laughs> with the Rolling Fucking Stones. Oh, he really? He has been on tour. With the Rolling Stones as their photographer for like the Steel's Wheels tour and shit like that. Wow. Employed by Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. He's, he's the what real deal. Earl wants to be when he's not taking well, pictures of shrubs. Be. Yeah. Would Earl be upset if I got my picture taken by my caca? So would you? I, I would be a little upset, yes, but. Why, you, know, you let him bang other guys. That doesn't bother you. You're in love with her. Remember the day he told you he was in love with you and you fucking spit in his face? <laughs> that, to me, was a, was the highlight of your internship. 
Lily was being like uh, hostess that night. Lily was running around meeting people, making sure everybody was uh, meeting each other. It's everybody with Earl. But Earl. You got it. I mean, I know I have insecu- little slight insecurities, social insecurities, but I, I thought I worked on it. I thought I did it very well at the party the other night. I need to improve, but I thought I did very well. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw you. Eddie the Pointers could give me three emails. No one saw him. By the way, Eddie the Pointer is the greatest. Yes. Ma- maybe even the best fucking name ever, Eddie the Pointer. Yeah. <laughs> He's, I point all the He's time. awesome at <laughs> pointing. Point People don't realize. He'll point everything if, out. If you do really well, he'll give you a double. He'll go, oh, he'll give nice. you both index yeah. fingers and give you an Eddie the Pointer double. It's it's the greatest move I've ever seen. Uh, Eric, you're on the fence. Hey, how you doing, Ron? Yeah. Um, I just got to say, Earl, you're a fucking lame-ass person. I mean, you have a party of your life, a good party with Ron Fez, Fez's birthday, and you sitting in, down in the corner by yourself. I mean, this is ridiculous. And as a black man, I, I, it's just disgraceful. And what qualifies a black man, Eric? What, well, what's I'm the criteria? I'm not saying qualifies a black man. No, what's the, the criteria? You're saying a sad black, black man. I have a job. I don't drink. I don't you're smoke. You're having a good time. I'm, you're sitting in the corner. And I, and I had a good time. Like a and I had a good time. What, by yourself? No, I was with other people. I talked with other people. I had a good time. Who did you talk with? Uh, well, your, your, mom your imaginary who else? friends or uh, or people that actually were at the party. I yeah. talk with people who were actually at the party. Yeah, right. Tell us, Earl. We're all dying to know. Well, I talk with I talk with uh, what's it? I talk with Pits, Pixie from the from the message board. When I, I brought her over to say no, but I but honestly, I met her before then. I because oh, when I got there, I made it a point to go from back to front. What a liar! Hey, you know, I was, I was a in the back. That's where, I, that's where I met her. I was in the ba- all the way You're in the back. The world's biggest fucking liar. I and I'm, I'm saying not lying every when I said one that. of these other people was acting like they wanted other people to have fun. I, and, and that's fine. But I did but you was, ever once check and go, hey Ron, you need anything? Fez, is everything cool? Did you bring anybody over to me? Did you bring anybody over to Fez? Again, every time I, I mean, I looked at either one of you, you guys were engaged in the conversation. You guys were having a good time. Maybe I did not could... want to break that up. But again, that's that's my fault. That is my fault for not saying, you can suck and say, excuse me, you got a moment. But I mean, but every time I did check in, you guys, every time I looked over, you guys were having a good time. I mean, at one point at the end, towards the end, Fez, you were actually dancing with, um, I forgot who you were dancing with. You were dancing with someone. Guess what? He was fucking dancing on the air when we were trying to finish the show at Free FM. That's when I want you to stop him. The man has a stent in his heart. I don't want him fucking jumping around acting crazy. That's one of the things you were supposed to be keeping an eye on. Like, I want you to keep an eye on him at Free FM when he started acting like he was Karate Man without even... He wasn't even yeah, saying yeah. it on the air. <coughs> yeah, that was bad. I mean, it was too many hours of drinking. Put your PJs on in case today's the <laughs> Just have them on. The thing is, Earl, it, part of going to a party isn't worrying about interrupting right. or this I or that. Once. It's not taking a fucking number and standing on line for bread. If people are laughing in the group, you just join the circle. And then you you talk, you know, when you want to talk. It's a lot more, everything is so formal. That is no, why you should get rid of the black and the button down and everything, because you're so fucking formal, you can't do anything. What, is, what, is my cho- what does my choice have to do with anything? It's a choice that I make. It's a choice that I You're too tight. With. I am not too tight. Yes, you are. You won't talk to Ron at the party because he's I mean, talking I mean, to other I mean, people? I talk to I mean... Again, but here's the thing: some people, other people out there, they're like shy listeners. So I would bring them over, meet Fez. Here's Dave. Here's Anthony. Here's Opie. You try to mix people up, make people feel comfortable, like they belong. Yet there, I, if I showed up, because some guys come by themselves, and I see the producer of the show is sitting against the wall, not moving, glaring around with a bunch of fruit in the bottom of a ginger ale, <laughs> I would think to myself. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's um, it's not really a place where everybody hangs out together. And again, I I'll be the first to admit I'm like I'm a, I'm, I'm a shy person. I'm a little withdrawn, and I'm working on that. And I'm trying to Here's be a little more outgoing. With your personality, should you be the producer? Yes. 
even though you don't do all the things that a producer does, and your interns do. But again, they're, I mean, they're just naturally more outgoing people, and that... And again, there's, th there's still things that Natural on a, so on a social like, level, I'm working on. If, I mean, if someone's not naturally funny, they shouldn't be on the air, probably, right? Doing a show like this, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean... So, would I go, even though I'm not funny, I'm staying, because I get I stay later, so I should be on the air. Do you see what I'm saying, Earl? No, and I does, understand does that. Does your personality not match the job title? And again, I mean, there's various aspects of it that does, and there's I mean, various it would be aspects. Great to I run in a board while we're at the party that I need to work on, and and I'm working on that, and and uh, and I had I had a good time. I I mean, obviously, Scott, you're on a fez. Hey, how you doing there? Yeah, yeah. I was at the show. I was at the party, and my girlfriend. I just got her the new XM radio. Right. And I said, uh, meet these cool guys, and we meet her. I take her over to Earl, and he just ignores her. Right. When they give it a time of day, I and she says, "What is, you know?" I thought these guys were cool, and she, he he brought down the whole show. I, mean, I understand. I mean, I didn't. I, uh, thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you for coming. Honestly, I don't remember meeting you at all or whatever. But I wouldn't have blown. Proud of. No, I mean, That's I wouldn't have blown. I wouldn't have blown them off. I always, you know, everyone. I said hello to everyone. No, I made I it a point to say hello That's to everyone. That's a lie. No. I mean, a lie. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I mean, I, I wasn't very. I wasn't standoffish at all. I was like, hey, how you doing? I mean, I know his move. His move is the. He says one hi Earl. and then one second. You are supposed to be a host of the party. You are the executive producer for the Ron and Fez show. It was an after party of the Ron and Fez show. It was Fez's birthday. There was people from every single message board there, all of them who support this show. You got to show some love back. And I do show the love back. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm probably more cordial than I should be, but I'm What's always. What's that even mean? But I'm, 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 I'm cordial. You do doing nice. Great. Do you understand the word of cordial? Hello, you people were nice so lucky to, to get that much. No, I was like, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. How oh, you how are you? Nice to meet you, Earl. The two words that everyone hears out of you are the words "hold on," because when people try to say hello, you go. Hold on, and then you walk away from them. That's this is rude. what I've heard no, from four or no, five different people. No, because you know what? Johnny, please back what? me up. No, you know why? Because, oh, you're oh, always, because I'm always getting tugged away, like, or oh, I need you now, or oh, I need this, or oh, I need this. this. I'm talking at the party. Who, I mean, I'm, con I'm you? constantly getting tugged Who fucking tugged needed at. you? The end of the night at the party. And I and I don't Who say hold you? on, I say excuse me. I was like, excuse me, one moment, please. Hold on. Answer me. I, mean, I don't you remember that specifically party. who, but I'm I'm constantly getting tugged at. I gotta go here. I have to go here. <laughs> There's always sat in the same fucking chair. That's no, why I Opie didn't... fell for the fucking gag. <laughs> you looked like you were sitting with your mom. No, because again, I was holding his seat and watching Casey's that's bag. That's a totally different story. No, that was, that's you, the only reason why I was sitting there. The geography the, is no, totally wrong. No, that was the only reason I was sitting there. She said specifically to me, make sure, it's like, my life is in this bag. Please do not let anyone touch this bag. It wasn't her bag. But I, I didn't know that. She just said, Whose hey, bag what? was it? I think it was Kathleen. It, it turns out later it was Kathleen's bag. But I didn't know that. No one specified that You know to what me. Kathleen said to me? She goes, I was there for two shows and a party. I wish I would have had a chance to talk with Earl. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's the thing. But I was there, watch, I was there watching the bag because you never came back. I came back in seven minutes. At the most. That was the After only reason why I was there. Seven minutes there. in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Earl, you're a liar. And it doesn't mean that I hate you, but you're the world's biggest liar. Earl, if you were in all the spots that you say you were, you must have cloned yourself like four or five different times before he's the He's a gadfly, that Earl Douglas. <laughs> oh, he's buzzing social butterfly. No, I mean, I'm wondering, like, and when I did get there and was moving, I was moving around because everyone always breaks my balls that I don't move around. So I was You didn't move around. at all. You sat and on then, the bench against no, the wall. But that was, that was hours after I was there. Hours after you were there was 2 o'clock in the morning, because you didn't get there till close to midnight. No, I got there Lily was already fucking uh, dry heaving <laughs> by the time you showed up. <laughs> Lily, you were smashed. No, I, I don't and think you, I was And drunk. you took your car home. I wasn't drunk. Yeah, you were. No, I was drunk. All right, everybody, does anybody think that she was sober or well enough to drive if she was pulled over? I don't think she was sober. Nope. Bad girl. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. And you should know your dad's liquor license will lose it. If they find out that's where you was drinking at your his restaurant. It wasn't really alcohol that I was on. Oh, you were smoking weed? 
<laughs> were you part of the Fred uh, crew? <laughs> Maybe. Well, she was in there yeah, with the Fred bit. crew. We were, we were chilling in the car, yeah. <laughs> that crew is, is Fred the <laughs> fucking coolest, by the way? Ever. I love Fred. He is really the best. Jesus, I love Fred. man. What's up? He's like, Jesus, that's the best shit ever. Honestly, best shit it ever. It just isn't by his pot. Best shit ever, nah. <laughs> but I mean, his too, personality. Though. Yeah, nah, he nice guy. He kills every time he calls. Nice guy. Um, hey, uh, Pam. Pam, you're on a fez. Go ahead, Pam. Hi. Yeah. I, I'm the one that made the quilt for fez. That's a beautiful yeah. quilt. Thank you, Pam. Was... <laughs> Thanks, and I was just going to say, if it's really covered with cat piss and all that, I, I don't want it back. <laughs> all right, Pam. Um, Fez, who else all chipped in on the uh, thing? Um, I'm sure it was a lot of people at Run and Fez Show dot net. Like, um, no one's coming to mind at the moment. <laughs> Even though you had the card in the entire weekend, and they put their heart and soul into it. Thank you very much, Pam. Not okay. to mention um, Martin. Who had yeah. you take a picture with the quilt? Right, has been up here six times, seven, eight times. Yeah, great guy, a good friend of Doctor Steve. You don't even remember Doctor Steve? I remember Doctor Steve. Why wouldn't he come to mine? That's his site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't are you gonna bring this up when you go see your shrink this week? Well, I probably should. Yeah, now I wasn't thinking about it, but Would now you yeah. wear your pajamas there in case I show up in pajamas. They will lock me up. And it's not so much lock you up. You want to be put away and get an arrest. Lily, how long did you have going away for? And I want uh, you to be serious. I said about 10 days. Minimum. No way. Just evaluation. Wouldn't even be able to clean his fingernails. I say six months. <laughs> I'm not going to do my nails in there. <laughs> 10 days. Forget it. Earl, how long did you have him going away for? Five days. And what about you, Jenny? I would have said two months, to be fair to the dude. Really? Yeah, two months. I'm the only one who would go, no. I just don't believe in being <laughs> locked up. But, you know, maybe that's me. I'm not paying attention. But here's what happened the other day in between shows. Crazy Jen starts to tell this story, right? Of, Fezzi, I want you to take care of yourself. We all, went, we all had oh. lunch in between the shows. So she's like... Man, see, I want you to start watch out, and I'm so scared. And she starts to cry, right? And uh, she's like, and when I saw that Richard Jenny, all I could think about was you. And I don't know why you don't let him. So Fez is like still a little bit buzzed. So he has this like smirk on his face, like, look, Crazy Jen is acting nuts. Do you remember that, Fez? Yeah, I remember crying, yeah. You weren't crying. You were smirking. You were like, her, she yeah. was, uh, you know, like, you believe her. He looks over. Uh, Jen's uh, husband has tears in her eyes. And a Kathleen from the Bronx is crying. So <laughs> he's like, get a load of this one. And then I'm, I'm just looking at him, just eating and watching. He gets the, oh, God. I thought we were making fun of Jen. <laughs> <laughs> when everybody had the same feeling as Jen. When the Rich Jenny news came out. Oh, no. Yeah. It was an uncomfortable moment. <laughs> but then, to um, to make it even funnier, though, she goes like this. Don't you realize how lucky you are? You could be slinging hamburgers to people. And I go like this. Uh, Jen, the waitress is standing at the table <laughs> dropping off a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes like this. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. Just the waitress has given up on her life. <laughs> Fez is sure unpredictable. Why is that? that mean? I mean, when, when he was drinking. You just never know what he's going to do? Yeah, I mean, one time it's, you know, we lost Gail O, and I, it was really sad. And then, right. That was sad. And then you it's were sad. real happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. And then the karate, <laughs> the, the karate judo was was great. It was a people. roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> well, the karate judo got on my nerves because that was like making Winnie laugh. At stuff that wasn't on the air. Right. And I'm like, he doesn't give a shit now. You know what I mean? We're on the air. And he doesn't. And we had pretty much made it to the end of the short porch. Yeah. You know, I was just ready to close that show down. Oh, by the way. Well, uh, so then everybody who's at the studio at Free FM goes uh, walking over. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, it's like, what, 10 of us or whatever walking through uh, New York together go to Bar 9. 
all of a sudden, Crazy Jen yells, Oh my God, it's Happy Tapping Girl! Runs over, blah, you know, sees her getting out of her car. I think to myself, wait, you don't even have pal talk. She fucking, for months talking about it, goes and looks up her MySpace page, but she's treating it like, she just saw Joe Pesci. Like, she had a celebrity sighting. So, Crazy Jen was so happy to be at that bar nine, seeing people that she only knows from the MySpace world. <laughs> that would be a trip. You didn't know this, Dave. No. Fence is now going to be a pal talker. Oh, really? I got a pal talk subscription. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that. That was the the same pal talk girls that gave me the the steakhouse gift who, certificates. Who were uh, Tracy and Happy Typing Girl and Casey and um, oh, Frenchie? God. I think mm -mm. no, no, no. They wouldn't do business. With oh, they yeah, right. You had forty eight hours. <laughs> so are you going to get a green name, and uh, that that enables you to you know I be on camera? I think they already gave me, and I think it's all set up. They already gave me a name, but I don't have a camera. I need that set up. Oh, I need so what are you saying? They should send that to you? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't anyone get me a camera. Do you, you do have or don't have a camera? Not yet. I don't oh, have okay. a camera. Because it, it, as soon as you get a camera, it's you plug it right into uh, your USB port, and you're good to go. It's like that. It's great. Can I tell you something? I guarantee you it's going to ruin the show. I yeah. rue yeah. the day <laughs> this pal talk was invented. I rue the day. Can I, uh, speaking of HTG, there was uh, another thing, uh, a sort of conference of girls, HTG, Lily, and e -Rock's girls, all hovered in on Pitts trying to get him to leave his girlfriend. And that was very, very stirring news. Really? Why was that, Lil? I don't remember that. Oh. I think his girlfriend's a real sweetheart. I never met her, but I don't remember She's great. his conversation. What happened, Pitsy? I have no recollection of this either. Yeah, I, you're drunk. You're a drunk maniac. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll get someone here. But, you know, we were just talking. We were talking about everything. I was e -Rock's chick is a lovely person, and that was it. I really... Yeah, don't. I know. She's great. Yeah. I think I think we were just... Because Pitsy was in a rush to leave, and he was like, I gotta catch the train because my girlfriend's gonna be pissed. And we're like, come on, it's a party. If she doesn't understand, you know, that's kind of... But do you guys not like her? Because she's I nice. never met her. I, I don't... I can't say, yeah. you know, I really can't. But, Pitsy, you, you're always seeming like you're hitting on the girls. And didn't he even try to make out with somebody the other night was the word? No, that's not the word. Yeah, it is the word, Mr. B. Who the was word it? is Lucci. Oh, uh, yeah. From Pal Talk. What a fucking mess that Lucci is. What a screaming <laughs> maniac she is. Oh, my God. Is she out of control? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's, a, she's a wild one. What but... she tried to do to poor Sheepy? Oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she, uh, she tried hey. statutory rape on Sheepy. Aww. His little body is not ready. He still hasn't finished his first blowjob. That's still there. He's nervous. Yeah, they were very, very personal. All right, Pitsy, you out with your chick then? No. Once you get this gig? with my chick. Not at all. I don't know, Dave. Uh, who am I linked to this week, by the way? I just want to know. Because one Lucci. week it's this one, one week it's that one. Right now it's Lucci, that maniac. Yeah. That screaming maniac. Yeah. Well, Dave has a fucking very... Uh, just because I'm nice to someone doesn't mean I want to fuck them. So He said you were trying to make out with them. That's not true. Because my arm is around Lucci and I was fucking with Dave like this. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. You had your arm... <laughs> sorry. You had your arm over uh, uh, Lucci's shoulders it's and the, were yeah, kissing the neck. I, e Rock, you just came in. You're backing the story up? Yeah. The girl's um, trying to talk him out of it? Yeah. Pitsy was um, venting some frustrations dealing with his girlfriend. Uh -huh. Apparently, she has a uh, shopping addiction that she shops from like the, the home shopping network, but found out that you can buy stuff through your cable bill, and it charges it right to your cable I bill instead no of that. using your credit card. That's scary. And he's complaining about how much uh, money she's racking up on his cable bill just buying crap off the television. Okay, yeah, there was a discussion, but I never said that she buys stuff. I said, this is what it's come to, that now I have to sit home and watch her try to order shit on my cable bill. So I was a little venting to everyone, but you know what? It wasn't, I don't think it was anything too bad that I was saying. Do you not love her, Pitsy? No, I love her to death. What's the problem? You had it up to here with her? Yeah, I don't know. I think I was just in the moment with the... F I had a few drinks. Well, I don't know. The one thing... The uh, one thing is that uh, last time, 
we uh, had a big party. You were in the moment with another Pal Talk person, Lil. So that's why you're... I don't understand why I can't meet these people, Dave. Why does you fucking always take it to the fact that I want to have sex with them? I never said that. So where is this fucking coming from? I am concerned about you as a friend. As a friend. And it's I like thought... like almost an intervention. And exactly. And not only is it an intervention, but I was backing up the girl council... Because they obviously can see it. You always doubt that I have, you know, like, you think I have some weird self-interest. But Lily, HTG, and Erox Chick, the girl council, also thought you should make a move here. I'm just backing up what the council says. It's like backing up the U United Nations. That's all. I don't think they're an official council. <laughs> and I, I noticed you tend to like, you know, older women. Like Lil and... Lucy and things like that. So maybe Vic isn't the right person for you is all I'm trying to say. Is she younger than you? No, we're the same age. Mm -hmm. You're like Brandon Eddy and that fucking uh, Billy. You know what I see him doing? A Jersey Rich. Yeah. I see this turning into a Jersey Rich. Hopefully so. Yeah. You know, of course, that would mean that Pitsy's going to be a daddy. And so that's why I need you. You know, he's got to be more But I didn't know this story. What does that mean? I mean, if they do a Jersey Rich swap, Lucy has children. Oh, I didn't understand that. Yeah. So. Oh my God! The way she must scream at those kids. <laughs> that woman is so loud and screaming constantly. It's un. It's unmanageable. You can't manage. She's wild. All right, Big A's on the phone. Big A. Oh yes. Big A, I got a couple complaints about you. Uh, uh, kissing girls. It just you've got to slow it down a little bit. What happened? The kissing hello has got to slow down a little bit. Sure. All right. How's everything with you, Big A? No, I heard his feelings. Probably about the same. I heard Big A's feelings. I, I'll, mm. Now he hung up. But did anyone else hear that? He's kissing too much? I heard that. And I also, did you see the girl that Big A came with to the party? No. She was a lovely black woman that Big A brought to the party, nice. too. Earl, did you meet her? Um, no, I did not. I did not meet not. her. Because you sat at like a fucking wallflower, Earl. Just admit it. Uh, Steve, Steve, you're on my face. Hey, uh, happy typing girl. She is a major celebrity. Uh, she was in the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, that is true. That is 100% true. She hey, love you guys. Uh, I'm peace. out. You hit Fez with the 250. That ought to be fucking uh, written up in the Wall Street Journal as bad investment. So I go to Fez. I go, unbelievable. Who you taking? And this was when he was sober the day after, when he was at my house eating, believe it or not, four giant bowls of ham and cabbage. Four. The man has a stent. Oh, my God. Bowls like this. Which I ordered pasta out. I had fucking pasta <laughs> delivered from Zaza. It's a very nice ne a restaurant in my neighborhood. Because I can't eat that fucking flavorless dog shit. So I go, who are you taking to the steakhouse? Thinking like, hey, let's do it as an in-between show things. Oh. You know, 250 would just about cover it for us. He goes to me, and I swear to God, not even smiling, he goes, I'll just go twice. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kidding you. That's perfect. Yeah. That's, That's my the synopsis right there. Yeah. It was my first thought. So I said to him, well, that is if you're not locked up like everybody you know thinks you should be. Because my heart was broken. Oh, man. Broken. You could have not even miss a B at least. I mean, forget about me and Earl. We're stooges, but you two could enjoy it. Do me a favor. When you go to that restaurant, leave that fucking touch your ashtray there. <laughs> Maybe somebody there can use it. I guess you don't even have an ashtray in a bar or restaurant anymore. Here's uh, Stalker Patty. Hey, Patty. Hey, how are you? I just wanted to tell you that I had a lot of fun at the party, and I'm very impressed that Fez got so much love. A lot of people Yeah, love you did get a lot of love. A lot of nice people, that's for sure. Are you letting it in yet, Fez? I'm trying to because everyone was really, really sweet to me all, all birthday long. Even though you don't remember any of their names. I have trouble with that, but yeah. Even though they wrote their names down on a card. <laughs> well, most of those well, cards were just you know, in the gutter, the urinal. Yeah. Strown. Strown is the perfect yeah. word. You know what it looked like? It looked like um, basically Nolans after the storm. <laughs> and then Fezzi told me that as he lost presents there, he left other ones in the cab because 
the cab driver woke him up back at Roosevelt <laughs> Island. He oh, fucking man. fell asleep in the in the taxi. Completely passed out after I got in the cab and woke up to the guy saying, uh, arriving on Roosevelt Island and the guy yelling at me, which way? Because you can turn left or right on Roosevelt Island. So that's what I woke up to. What time did you even get home? Do you even remember? I don't know. Very late. Yeah? Yeah. Woke up in your own piss? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have any money, but here's a $250 gift certificate. <laughs> you don't even remember what restaurant it was, though? I think it was Benson's. Benson's? Ben Benson's? Mm-mm. No, it was... Um... No, let him go. Okay. Let him stew in it. All right. I, I won't say anything. I'm pretty sure it was Benson's. Yeah. <laughs> so go over the names again. It was uh, Tracy uh-huh. and Happy Typing Girl and Casey Elon. And I know I'm forgetting a couple. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are. Even though I know. Even though I know, and they're begging me to tell you, I will not. <laughs> I'm not here to help him. He's on his own. Because I didn't get any 250. I didn't get any 250. You know why, uh, Dave? No. I'm not huggable. I'm not lovable. Oh. I'm the wise-ass one of the bunch. Mm, I think you are, but... Well, thanks, Dave. You know? <laughs> but what am I going to get from you? $2.50? <laughs> <laughs> what did you give me? A fucking a boat inside, uh, inside a bottle thing? Whatever that shit was? Uh, last time I had to give you a gift, I gave you the screenplay to um, Crash. Oh, yeah. And I, I remember where that went, right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> and then remember he took his own fucking Nintendo and tried to give it to you, too. <laughs> oh, asshole. yeah. I remember hey, that. Yeah, that, that's that, that a good gift. Yeah, gave you. Shit, and when yeah. I did take it, you started crying when I was taking it home. <laughs> I fucking carried it around for like three hours just, yeah. to, just to punish him. I didn't think he'd actually do it. Hey, Mooch uh, said he put together a little homage to uh, Gallo, a little something for uh, Gallo, who, despite what you read on uh, Wagbag, uh, because I said uh, that we lost her, and uh, or, or and then only Paulo said that it's a memorial service, and then I said she's gone, because not wanting to use the word dead, you. Th- don't th- you think that people aren't going to treat the show like Lost and try to figure out... <laughs> this is how horrible we are. We are so horrible that they cannot take news from us. Now, I didn't realize that it was also the last day before April Fool's, right? Right. But I don't yeah. think we've ever done an April Fool's joke ever, have we? No. No, we've never done one. Plus, I, I think it's against the rules to set up a joke before on March 30th. And then so, uh, radio stations do that shit all the time, though. But right. we weren't on the air on April Fools. What are we gonna say? Yeah. We set up a joke on a, a, a March thirtieth and April Fools, even though it's the second. Right. Didn't that that didn't matter? Uh, but again, I also know after you know three months of the Midnight Rider, you don't need to trust us. You're every <laughs> right. You have every right to go. These guys are fucking stupid. But. Polo's wife did die uh, last week, and uh, I'm going to check in on him again today. Why don't you give him a call, too, Earl, because I, I don't know how he's doing. Bruno Kirby called me again the other night, just fucking whacked, so I had to take that call. <laughs> when we were at Barn on, he's not doing well. I go, well, you know, his wife died. I've got, I got weird messages on my cell phone. From him? Mm-hmm. You know, really? Some of these people... Never call them because then they keep your cell phone number forever. I learned that the hard way. With Eau Claire? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Bruno Kirby and the, our other friend in Astoria. Mikey with Dave? With the daughter, yeah. Yeah, Mikey calls me. I don't even like saying yeah. his name I called anymore. his house that day, now I've gotten calls from him. Yeah. It's a and lack he, of boundaries. Yeah, but I, at least this, he when I sent him an email, he does delete it on his birthday, which is really mm. fucking rude. Really rude. I got I'm rude. judging you. Well, no, I am. I fucked no. my lamp. My lamp's fucked, Earl. <laughs> Get that through your head. My lamp doesn't work anymore. Uh, we'll try to get a hold of Polo, but anyway, here's Mooch's little song for Galo. It's the Ron and Fez Show on XM202.